This season is about figuring out what this machine is, what he means to this machine, what this machine means to him, and how he can affect what has been presented to him as his destiny. That's what this season is about for Peter. When Peter was on the other side and, and Walton had given him parts of the machine, we realized it somehow reacts to Peter. In episode 311, we um, finally get to see what they have assembled so far of the machine. And it's huge. And yes, it does react to Peter. But um, what's more interesting is that Peter reacts to it. It's still Peter, but it's like the ruthless parts of Peter are starting to come out. Now that he's coming to face his own destiny, this darker portion of his personality, the man who sees the ends as justifying the means, that's coming to the fore. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, it's interesting, isn't it, that, uh, that we, we're led to believe that Peter can have this impact. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy to tell someone that they have the power to do something because very often that will enable them to, to take that part. He doesn't seem to really reconcile it at the end, which is the scary part. You're changing, son. When you touched the machine, it changed you. So what do we do now, Walter? I don't know. What does Nina know about Peter in regards to that machine. It's not written what she knows yet, but I think there are some interesting aspects of that. And what did William know? They're holding up better than I would have thought. What's a little universe hopping between friends? That's not what I meant. I mean, at this point, I think what Peter's trying to say to himself is, is this a destiny? Is it a fate? Is it something that I can't change? Or is there some conscious action that I can take that will preserve both sides? Because neither one of them are guilty or guilt-free. I mean, there, there is no clear moral choice that this side is better or that side is better, so therefore the other one should be destroyed. I don't think that it's predetermined. Peter being a part of the machine. I think that that is a possibility. I don't think that that is what is necessarily going to happen. And of course, I'm hoping that it doesn't happen because I'm assuming that means that one of the universes is going to go and I'm rooting for both universes surviving. It's a bit of pressure when you think you might destroy the universe if you make the wrong choice. 